Wiley Hardeman Post is remembered today for his astounding aeronautical achievements. He was the first pilot to fly solo around the world. He was honored with a ticker tape parade in New York City. He was a most unlikely candidate for fame. It was a hard knock life for Wiley Post. He didn't like school. He dropped out of school early in the sixth grade. Imagine that. By the time he was 18, he had been arrested for stealing cars. He was sentenced to do 10 years at the reformatory at Granite. He only served about a year of that 10-year prison sentence. The prison doctors diagnosed him as suffering from what was then called chronic melancholy. Today, we know that as chronic depression. Perhaps it was the hard knock life that fueled his drive and determination. Post actually invented the pressure suit that allowed him to fly at high altitudes in his beloved Winnie Mae. Modern astronauts still wear suits based on Post's design. The Oklahoma History Center has a display of amazing examples of his engineering skills, things that we take for granted today, like the altimeter. He invented things because he needed them. The tools that he invented were the standard tools for aerial navigation until recent years with the advent of, of GPS. And many small planes still use those tools with their maps, with their charts, in order to navigate from point A to point B. Modern aviation can also thank Post for the autopilot and what we know about the jet stream. Today it might be tough for a guy who lost an eye in an oil field accident to even be licensed to fly. But by the time he died with Will Rogers in an Alaskan plane crash in 1935, Wiley Post had proven that adversity could not defeat desire and ingenuity. He was recognized then before his death and is still recognized today as one of the foremost aeronautical engineers in the history of aviation. He was a sixth grade dropout, he was an ex-con, he had no depth perception because he only had one eye and he suffered from chronic depression. And he overcame all of those things to accomplish all of the things that he did.